Hi y'all, my name is Rose Hillen and you are watching my 100 days of making comics challenge. Today is day 19, January 19, 2020 as well. Um, and today I took some time and edited my script. So um, yesterday I mentioned that I wanted to print my script, so I did. Ooh, I printed it, look at that. Um, I printed it on the half sheet. Um, just so that I could keep it compact, and since I'm doing my thumbnails on, um, these index cards, I, I don't know, I like, I, I like things that are small, <laughs> I don't know, um, it made sense in my brain, but, so this first page is a splash page, so there's not much here, um, I feel like my script... This is kind of a tangent, but I feel like my um, writing is a bit sparse compared to like if it's a writer writing for another artist, um, since these things are in my brain. Um, a lot of these panels say, like this one says, splash page, Portland Riverfront, bridge and background daytime. Like in my brain, I know that there's going to be pink trees and people walking around. Um, it's springtime. Um, it's an overhead shot or something. I don't know. I, I know all these things in my brain already. Um, so when I was writing the script, I didn't type that stuff up. So I decided today after I printed this, um, I was going to number my word bubbles. So for example, I'm trying to find a good example here. So here's page two, um, I've numbered the word bubbles, so that when I am um, lettering this later, I will not, I'll have a map to go off of when I'm um, doing the letters, either digitally, probably digitally, or, um, you know, by hand, whatever, I haven't decided yet. I, I work traditionally so I'm not sure um, how I'll finish the comic. I know that I'm going to draw it and color it with my Copics, but I'm not sure how I'll do the letters since I've never done letters. Anyways, um, so I did that. I added the numbers for the word bubbles that I have done for the panel <laughs> thumbnails that I have done um, off of my script here. And then I also edited this because as I was doing one of these pages, um, so here's a page that got edited with red pencil. Um, as I was doing these pages, I realized that it doesn't flow as well when I'm drawing, um, which is interesting. I might have mentioned it last night. I was very tired last night. Um, so I was going, I was reading the script while I'm doing the thumbnails and editing it as I'm going along, but I didn't have the script printed. So having the script printed as I'm working, I can make notes on the script. See how handy that is? Um, and I like having the printout because if I just edit it on my phone, because I could, in theory, do the thumbnails looking at the script pages off of my phone, um, I won't have, like, what it said before. I won't have, like, a previous version to look at. It'll just disappear. I mean, I guess I could edit it in a new document and then toggle back between each document to see where things got changed or whatever, but that, that's stupid. That's really dumb. I just, uh, this is much easier for me to do these pages here. Much easier to just cross it out and write in, write in the changes so I can see the progression here of my thoughts. Um, but one page got a complete rewrite, let's see, in pencil, because that's what I had. Um, I just like crossed out the, the pop, pop, top part here and then just wrote and wrote and wrote. <laughs> so that is what I did today, a lot of editing. Um, where did I read that you should number your word bubbles. I read it on a blog somewhere. If I can find that blog post, 
I will link it down below. I thought that was a really great tip, um, numbering your word bubbles in your script and on your pan um, thumbnails, so that if you need to make edits, like let's say you're writing this for an artist that you're partnering, partnering with, you can say to the artist or the letterer, um, the words in word bubble five on page whatever two look weird or something. I need to change that, whatever. So I thought that was really handy. <laughs> um, and it's a map for me in the future. Anyways, I said all this already, so that is all. Look guys, check out my son's tower back there. It's pretty impressive, huh? Uh, I got distracted. That's it for today. Uh, I will be back tomorrow with another video. Tomorrow is day 20. I'm very excited about that because it means I'm getting closer to that 21 days thing that I was talking about yesterday. Um, making it a habit. I'm gonna sneeze, so. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!